So in this Blackboard lesson, we're shifting away from the audio theory for a little bit and focusing on some programming, doing something reason because it's a really nice place to do this. I can really focus on some stuff here. You see what's going on with the grid position. So we're, we're looking at basically things like some basic programming, some swing shuffle stuff, and also things like velocity and how important that is for programming. So I've got a basic kit here. I'm gonna draw some stuff on the book as well. So in a bar, Okay, so that's literally one, two, three, four, four beats in a bar. So let's just say here, one bar equals four beats. And what we do is we'd actually get this kind of resolution thing, you know, you've seen like quantized grids. So we're gonna say here, so it's gonna be that. So four beats in a bar, and we're gonna have one, two, three, and four. These are the four beats that are gonna be looped, all right? So let me just show you here, I've got a basic kit. Let's click on the kick drum and I'm gonna program in these grid positions and play it for you. So that's one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. That's just repeating over and over again. Now, if all we had was those beats, we'd be in a boring world. You know, we want some extra detail. So if we increase the grid size, I'm gonna do this here and I'm gonna find another sound like a hi-hat. I'm gonna do off beats. So this is the eighth subdivisions in the bar grid. So I'm gonna draw this now. Now I've done different size numbers there to indicate the flow of the, the main beats and then the off beats. You can see here, so the main beats are coming down this will make a bit more sense in a minute. And then we've got these off beats here. So have a listen. So that's what's going on. Okay, so we've got now eight subdivisions in the bar. Now we want to get a little bit more detail. So I'm going to say here 16th. So number one, two. Do medium size now to represent the flow here. So four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, and then sixteen. So, what we've got is visually you can see one, five, nine and 13 these are your beats so when you're actually clicking in here you can take a look at the numbers and that's the reason why i selected those so the one the five the nine and the 13 in a 16th grid that's your kicks so the off beats are the three the seven the 11 and the 15 so you could see that on the closed hats here now the 16th are where the more interesting and more delicate things start happening so if i get um this and let's put this here and here so you can see there on eight and 16. so these positions here and here they're actually really interesting positions in the grid so let me show you so what we've got going on is a usage of basically the the full resolution now i'm going to do some programming in a second all right and what it is is that I want you to understand how important some of these numbers are. All right, so the relationship between these numbers. Now I'm going to set up the closed hats and I'm going to solo these. I'm going to paint. All right, so literally going to drag. So if I hold this down and drag all the way to the right, we've got constant sixteenths. So let's just play that. So every single sixteenth is being triggered. Now what I'm going to do is just something a little bit different. I'm going to adjust what we call the, the dynamic parameters. So you can see over here, we've got hard, medium, and soft. And this is going to give us a really nice little variation in terms of the way things sound. So I'm going to set this up. So I'm going to do soft. I'm going to do medium and hard. So I'm going to use a function key here. So holding down shift plus click to do the, the low one. So this is, oh no, sorry, this is alt plus click to do soft. Medium is as it is. And then we do hard, but shift plus click. And then we're doing this again. So down to the soft, medium, hard, medium, soft, medium, hard, medium, 
soft, medium, hard, medium. So this is alternating. You can see that the first one is soft, medium, hard, medium, soft. So I'm going to write some stuff down here. We'll come back to this page. So programming with velocity. So this can make things sound more realistic. Hats, shakers, Tams. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. So you do soft, medium, hard, medium, soft, medium, hard, medium, soft, medium, hard, medium, soft, medium, hard, medium. Right, so that's what's going on with that. So what we also need to do is to take the velocity amount. So you've got over here, this is indicating the difference between those amounts. I'm going to take it back to normal. All right, have a listen. All exactly the same level. Now, as I rotate to the right, we're going to get a difference between the three, the soft, medium, hard levels. So can you hear already that that's sounding much more interesting? So we're to the maximum level. So that means that we're getting the full difference in volume between those. Now, what I'll do, just switch on to another sound. Let me get to the right, here we go. Any of those sounds that I'm switching to, we've got the interesting variation going on there. So not just for you know shakers and stuff like that, it can it can work really well with other sounds too. So we're gonna go back to this one. So if I take that off solo, got a lot more life to it now. Okay. Now let's come back, let's have a listen. What about shuffle? Okay, because this affects very particular grid positions. So I'm gonna come back. So if we come back to this diagram here, you've heard about swing and shuffle, you know, it adds a real nice kind of bouncy vibe to stuff and it's very specific positions. So I'm gonna say here. These are the positions that are affected by swing. They're the only ones, none of the other positions that are. And if you have a look, that's the even numbers. Okay, so the even numbers, if you adjust swing, they move to the right. Okay, so I'm gonna do little arrows. So if you add swing, the even numbers move to the right. So adding swing, moves even numbered sixteenths to the right. So it's only the even numbers, so they move to the right. In recent, what we need to do is come down to this uh, groove thing here. Let me just turn shuffle on first. So we're gonna turn this on and we've got the global shuffle amount here. So I'm gonna show you with no swing, going to increase the amount of swing. So we've real got that nice kind of bouncy shuffle now. So what I'll do is I'll bring back the rest of the beat. So that's a real heavy swing. And that's normal. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you inside Cubase now. I'm going to show you those grid positions moving. Let's take a look at the movement of those even number grid positions in Cubase. This is a really nice way to visually see it. And I've got here auto apply it. I'm going to tick this. And this means that we can get to see the swing happening in real time. This is a different drum kit, but the same programming. So you can hear the closed hat volume variation. Now I'm going to use a swing here. 
and watch the grid positions here. So you've got the different velocities indicated with different colors. We can feel the swing occurring now. You can see only the even number positions moving to the right. There we go, maximum swing. Let's bring it down again. So all the way straight, moving to the right. So you choose how much swing you want. It's moving those even number 16s to the right hand side. They're the only ones affected by swing on this grid. Okay, very important to understand. So when you're programming, think about that. These even numbers just before the beat are actually a really interesting place to put things like little skippy kind of snares, nice kind of little variations going on there. So that's a really nice way to get some programming down different velocity levels. If you want to see what the soft, medium and hard is, you can see up here at the top. So for the soft, go for a velocity of 30. For medium, go for 80. For hard, 127, that's maximum. And then medium, back down to 80 again. So hopefully that will help you get a little bit more interesting variety into your programming. Use that soft, medium, hard thing for the programming with things like shakers, hi-hats, tambourines. Programming is going to be really, really interesting.